To begin with a demo, I'll show you how easy it is to get the EC Protect Cloud instance set up. First, we'll need an eligible license. For that, we'll log into our EC MSP administrator account and create one. Do note, EC Protect Cloud is also available for annual licensing. I'm going to choose one of the existing customer, Demo Customer Blue, and add a trial license for EZ Protect Complete. As this bundle comes with EZ Dynamic Threat Defense, it gives you a pop-up for Dynamic Threat Defense Terms of Use. After the license is added successfully, we can see what all product this bundle covers by expanding it. Under Access Rights, you can have a quick glimpse of users who can make changes to this license. Do note, ESIT Protect Cloud is multi-tenanted, which my colleague Christian will be covering later. Now going on the dashboard, you will notice there is an Activate ESIT Protect Cloud tile visible. We will hit Activate, choose a data center location, accept the agreement, and hit Activate button. Note the time, it's 5.18 p.m. when we started the creation of this cloud instance. Five minutes forward, the cloud instance is now activated, and if you note the time again, it's just 5.24 p.m. Getting the cloud instance up is not only easy, but fast. You can open the EC Protect console by clicking on the tile on the dashboard or clicking on the EC Protect option on the main menu. You will notice a familiar looking dashboard and menu which won't take long to get used to. So, it was this easy to create the EC Protect Cloud instance. You can do the same for the annual licensing. You just need to import the annual license key into the EBA account. And hit activate on the EC Protect Cloud tile on the EBA dashboard. Now say you are already managing your clients or endpoints through an on-prem ESMC or EC Protect server, and you want to migrate them across to the new EC Protect Cloud instance. It can easily be done. First, we'll go to the new EC Protect Cloud instance, choose the Quick Links option on the top right, and now choose Download Migration Policy. We will now import this policy into the existing on-prem ESMC or EC Protect server. Once imported in, we would need to apply this policy to all the machines. After the machines have checked in and grabbed the policy change, you will notice these machines will now start reporting into the EC Protect Cloud instance. With the old version of Cloud Console, you couldn't create your own or more dynamic groups, or even edit the existing dynamic groups. But with the EZ Protect Cloud, you can. I'm going to drag this dynamic group, which filters out the machines with no security product installed, under the Windows Desktop Dynamic Group. and I'm going to create a new dynamic group under Windows Servers to filter out non-activated security products. Now 
Now, with the help of these dynamic groups, I'm going to automate the process of installing EZ Endpoint Security on the Windows desktops, which are reporting into the console, but doesn't have a security product installed on them. Also, I'm going to automate the process of activating ESET file security on the Windows Server, which are reporting into the console with no active license. You will notice these tasks have now been scheduled to run on two desktops and two servers. Fast forwarding a bit, you will notice the activation task has completed successfully and we are still waiting for the workstations to check in. If we go back to the dynamic group for non-activated security product, you will notice this is empty as both the servers are now activated. ESET has also added the feature to synchronize your Active Directory with ESET Protect Cloud Console. We will choose the Cogwheel icon next to the static group where we want the Active Directory structure to sync and choose the Active Directory Scanner option. This gives us an access token which we will use by running a simple command to sync our Active Directory structure across to the ESET Protect Cloud Console. I will now refresh the computer's menu on the console and you will notice how easily the AD structure has been synchronized across. ESET Protect Cloud can also do mobile device management. Let's clear the view filter to show all the devices, both managed and unmanaged, and add a mobile device. You will notice you can enroll the mobile in device administrator mode or device owner mode. We'll accept the agreement and hit continue. You can enroll the mobile device via email or via QR code. For this demo, we will enroll it via email. Now we'll quickly fill some device information and send the enrollment link out. Currently, the Android VM is showing us not managed as we haven't finished the enrollment. Let's go to our Android virtual machine and enroll this device. You will notice the device has now started reporting in with an alert. Going into the details, we notice this alert is for admin password not being set up. How about we create and add a policy for MDM? Under the settings option, we can define the administrator password. We can enable anti-theft with a single flick of a switch. Note, this feature can help you locate, lock, or wipe the mobile device. We can add a list of administrator contacts who can receive notifications when the device is locked 
and the number is also displayed on the lock device. We can also customize the lock screen information and display a custom message. We can also enable application control where we can define the list of required applications to be installed and block applications based on application name, package name, category, permission, or unknown sources. We will now hit finish and wait for the device to check in and grab the policy change. Fast forwarding a bit, we can see the device has now checked in and the alert has gone away. If we go into more details of the device, you will notice an anti-theft option. From here, you can make the device make a loud noise, lock it, unlock it or wipe it.